chemistry because when I first came to UWA, I was kind of unsure about what I wanted to do. I knew I loved science, but I wasn't sure about which area of science. But I found that uh, no matter what I was studying, whether it was physics or human anatomy, I'd find myself trying to relate everything back to what was happening to molecules. And when I really realized that's what was happening, it, it seemed like it was a pretty clear choice to make. Yeah, I chose to do a chemistry major, probably because uh, I started out with the two different majors that I kind of preferred, and uh, chemistry was something I enjoyed in high school. And I don't know, as it went on, second year, I enjoyed chemistry more, and it ended up being the thing I liked best, so I ended up sticking with that. I went into chemistry, into the chemistry major, not really knowing what to expect, so everything that I've experienced in my undergrad has been pretty much a new experience. Um, something that surprised me in, in making my decision about chemistry was that I found from the very first day that I started my undergraduate that in the first lecture, they wanted to know who you were. They wanted to know who was, what you were interested in and what you wanted to do. And I, I felt like in chemistry more than any of the other topics I was doing that I felt like a person rather than a student number. It was a really nice community to be a part of. I've formed quite good friendships with people in the labs, seeing them every week in the labs for six hours and then seeing them outside in the lectures and in other units as well. One of the things I didn't expect was the emphasis on lab work. Um, at UWA, the chemistry course uh, has either three hours uh, a week for some units or six hours a week of lab for other units. So that was unexpected, especially because coming from high school, lab sort of more periphery or more uh, one or two hours a week as opposed to being the large part is of a tertiary uh, chemistry course. However, saying that, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding when you're posed with a challenge in a lab or as part of your curriculum and you meet that challenge and you sort of exceed your initial expectations of what you're going to achieve. The lab work took me a little while to get used to, but once I got used to this scary thing of doing your own chemistry, I really enjoyed that in chemistry labs you actually get to do a thing, you, you make something or you're actually measuring what's really going on. It's not making models, it's not looking at diagrams, it's actually doing stuff. And I really enjoyed that. that. You know, there have been bits that I haven't enjoyed and bits that I've found really good and I think from that I've found sort of the area of chemistry that I enjoy the most. One of the things that I've really enjoyed about, uh, so, uh, about chemistry here is most particularly the labs. Uh, I think doing the hands-on practical side of chemistry, it, it's a bit more exciting than just learning about the theory in, a, in the lectures. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it to be so good to tell, like, to tell you the truth. Like, uh, I, in first year when I first started, like I said, I was planning to do the two majors and I didn't think, really chemistry was the one that I didn't, I, I didn't think I would be really continuing on with and then by second year I actually liked it better and that's probably what surprised me most was that, that it was actually quite fun, you get to do the lab work and also the theory behind it was good. So. Um, the area of chemistry that I've mostly enjoyed was the physical and analytical side of it. I, through most of my undergrad, I switched between synthetic chemistry and physical chemistry because my interest kept changing throughout it and it was only quite later on that I realised I really enjoy the physical, theoretical, analytical side of it. Much the same, I'm sort of very interested in analytical and physical chemistry and for much the same reasons, I think sort of playing with big machines is much more fun than making things in a lab, which is what the synthetic yes. <laughs> side does. Um, in my undergrad, I was really interested in natural products and things that happen in, in nature. And um, in my honours project, I made a bit of a compromise with my supervisor. He does carbohydrate chemistry and I like natural products. So I worked on something that was a combination of the two. And I have to admit that probably I am now more interested in carbohydrate chemistry and glycobiology. I never really realised that everyone's always talking about proteins, 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 but Carbohydrates, man, they do everything. Uh, the area of chemistry I'm most interested in is probably metallic chemistry. And I just enjoy metallic chemistry just because there's so many metals and there's such a wide possibility of you know, reactions and you know, 
there's everything can be explored and you know I've, I've had a fascination with metals since third year when I did organometallic chemistry and I work specifically on gold and I, I enjoy the work and it's really really interesting. I was surprised at how topical all of our lectures were. We, we were actually learning about stuff that was happening now and things that were really interesting that this goes on in nature or this happens in the human body. It wasn't just hard, fast theory, learn all this theory. It was actually, hey, this is how this is relevant and how this applies to you as a person. I really enjoyed that. And that's what I think you emphasize as well. It's not just, you don't just learn in chemistry a set of knowledge. You don't, you don't just learn about uh, your hydrogens and your heliums and all that. What you're learning about is a set of skills, problem solving, analytical skills, communication skills, things like that, which in the end place you in a better position to get a job at the end of the day. I've been quite interested in possibly going into defence and using the analytical skills that I've gained through chemistry in sort of analysing for strategic intelligence and defence. And so I think even if I don't end up using chemistry in a career, the skills that I've learnt in chemistry, I think that's put me in a good position for future careers. I think that the chemistry manager at UWA puts me in very good stead to find a job and to have a career in chemistry, especially in Western Australia given our unique resources, um, wealth up north. Well, I, um, I found that in my honours year I've, I've learnt so many skills that I didn't really learn in my undergraduate and it made me feel like I can, I can learn new things. I, I know that I can go out into any kind of industry and be able to work independently. And whilst I really loved the theory and learning things in my undergrad, I found that it was the honours year that, that gave me the confidence in myself, whether I go out into a chemistry specific field or into any industry in science, I feel like I can, I can pick up what I need to.